a 49-year-old female Caucasian patient with a complaint of lower back pain. She was seen here in November with the same complaint, status post, a work-related injury, and workman's comp. At that time, x-rays were done, which were negative. She was sent out with naproxen and Flexeril, and outpatient physical therapy was set up. She states she does continue to take the, the naproxen and Flexeril as needed, but no longer attends physical therapy because she didn't feel like she needed to continue. She states that the workload on her job has increased and she feels like the back pain is secondary to the increase in workload. Um, she feels like she overdid it the last two days, the last couple of days at work. Other than this injury, there's no significant past medical history. She's healthy, appropriate adult. Um, she's not allergic to anything. She, besides the naproxen and Flexeril, she takes a daily vitamin. Um, she is alert. She's oriented. She's afebrile. Um, all of her vitals are stable. She's in no acute distress at this time. She denies shortness of breath, denies chest pain, no um, thrill or brewy noted over the, over the area. Um, that she points to where the pain's located. Also, no uh, ecchymosis or urethema noted at the site. No trauma. Um, patient denies frequency or burning with urination. No loss of bowel, of bowel or bladder function. She has equal normal, to, normal strength of all extremities. Um, she has positive reflexes in her lower extremities positive pulses, denies weakness, numbness, or tingling of the lower extremities, um, the pain, states that the pain does not radiate, pain is minimal with palpation, and increases with movement, thus limiting her range of motion. Um, there's no other neuro um, signs going on, um, no other muscles involved, just these in the lower back. Um, some of my differentials would be possibly a triple A, possibly a UTI, a possible ligament injury, a herniated disc, maybe an epidural abscess, compression fracture, or um, of course our muscle strain, or lastly, a possibly secondary gain. Um, so I'll start with the triple A. If I was suspicious that it was a triple A, of course, I did listen and feel for um, thrills and brewies over the site. Had I been, if I were really suspicious or I felt something, I would order a CT or MRI. And if, depending on the severity, well, either way, she would be referred to a surgeon. But um, depending on the severity, they would take her, they would either watch the aneurysm or they would take her to surgery um, immediately. Uh, and that could become a medical emergency. With the UTI, I would send a urine for your analysis, check for you know bacteria count, colony count, um, and white count, look for blood. If it came back that, sh that there is an infection, of course, we would give her antibiotic therapy and something for um, like peridium to help with the burning sensation, frequency sensation, encourage her to drink lots of fluids, to, um, discourage bubble baths, and uh, good hygiene. Uh, for ligament injury, uh, that would show up on an MRI. With it being in the lower back, there would probably not be a surgical intervention unless it was really bad, but she, we would possibly still want to refer her um, just to make sure we weren't missing anything. Uh, we would encourage her to stay off of, you know, stay off her feet, rest, put ice to her back. Uh, we would possibly give her Mobic, Flexeril, um, some, uh, put her on, you know, work restrictions activity restrictions until she could see, until she could follow up. With the herniated disc, there again, the uh, plain films would probably show that. Our MRI, we would refer her out again if that were, um, if that showed up, she would need some pain management with NSAIDs, possibly opiates, and if it were, were very severe, she may have to go for a spinal fusion. Epidural abscess would show up also on an MRI, and that would be referred out and let the surgeon decide what he would want to do with that. The um, compression fracture, same thing, that would show up on x-rays, plain films. Um, we would want to, of course, limit her 
her activity, uh, give her something to control the pain, um, and she too may end up with surgical intervention. Um, the possible secondary gain, um, because she did state multiple times that it was um, all because of this work-related injury back in November, um, and that now she's having to work more and work harder at work, she may be wanting um, light duty again, and um, so that's just something to think about. And the last thing, the muscle strain. Um, basically, when everything else is ruled out, and you put the pieces together, and you're looking at, you know, what happened, it being the lifting injury, and then she was getting, she was improving with physical therapy, and then when she stopped, she began to hurt again. I do lean more towards the muscle strain. And with that, of course, we want her to rest it, keep ice on it for the first 24 hours, and then alternate heat and ice um, every 20 minutes. Um, give her like an anti-inflammatory, kind of, uh, like Mobic, the Flexoril for the muscle, um, muscle spasms again. And then she gets her activity restrictions and her light duty um, back with that. Um, and I think I covered all of my stuff, so thank you.